How's it going, everybody? Hopefully your weekend is off to a good start. Wanted to thank Warren Wallace. He left a comment on my video. Wanted to thank him for kind of putting me onto this story because I don't catch everything and I avoid social media <laughs> as much as possible. That's what I was telling him in my reply to him. So if you see this video, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. So I wanted to look into it a little more. This is Jacob Peterson. I don't know if you're familiar with him. I guess he's an undercover, or was undercover, <laughs> a cop in Minneapolis. They were suspecting or saying this rumor was flying around social media. I don't know if it's rumor, proven true or not. We'll see. There's a lot of information going on on both sides, but they were saying that he was the individual who smashed in the auto zone. So you see a picture of him here, and I'll show you a few others. This was apparently on social media as well some kind of dialogue between his wife, excuse me, ex-wife and one of her friends. I don't know how this got out there, but they're showing his face here and they have him side by side with the man with the mask and the gloves and everything like that. So you can read what it says here. It looks like the ex-wife is saying, that's my gas mask, gloves, holy eesh, I'm shaking. If those were hers, I don't know how he has them or <laughs> why she would even have a gas mask. I don't have a gas mask. All right, let's see what else we got. There's another photo of him here again, side by side, the same kind of thing. This is St. Paul police officer Jacob Peterson. Okay, so he's St. Paul, not Minneapolis. I know they're the Twin Cities and all that. He smashed out the windows of the auto zone. He's a provocateur that helps start the looting. Stop blaming protesters and get back to blaming the police. And that raises an interesting question. At what point do you go from a protester to a looter. If you listen to the media, they keep referring to these people as protesters. Well, regardless of who you are, when you're throwing stuff through windows, when you're breaking into stuff, when you're stealing stuff, when you're throwing things at cops and other people, or if you're some umbrella man throwing something through an auto zone, you're not a protester anymore. You're a criminal. You're a looter. All right, we've got more. This here is from a police chief. I don't know who it is. I don't know what SDPD. It could be so many things. I could look it up, but I don't care. They express their condolences for the family of George Floyd. Our profession must do better. Yada, yada, yada. He's an idiot and a wuss, in my opinion. It has nothing to do with him. Why come out in virtue signal? This has nothing to do with your city. So I see a lot of other protests going on. A lot of other cities. There was something in Ohio, I think, where they're going crazy. Something in the Bay Area. Not surprising, but again... How do you justify it? Protests are great. You have the right to do that. We all have the right to do that. But at the point where, at the point where you start breaking shit, then you're not a protester anymore. You're a criminal. So if you're out there protesting and you're trying to get your message across that way legally, then by all means do it. But make sure that if individuals within your ranks, even if you don't know them, start to damage and destroy property, Try to avoid that. You don't want to get caught up in something. You don't want to get caught up in being arrested or being fingered for something that you perhaps had no involvement in if you're just out there peacefully protesting. Now to the other side, Jacob Peterson is not the AutoZone umbrella man, St. Paul police say. And this is from heavy.com. I'm not familiar with what their angle or politics is. I have no idea what they do. So just keep that in mind as I read this. I'll link the article in the description. We'll just read a little bit here. A viral and incendiary social media accusation against a St. Paul, Minnesota police officer is false, the police department said in a statement. The situation shows how quickly information can spread on social media, ricocheting around the web, especially in a fast-moving situation, like the unrest in the Twin Cities. Heavy asked police how they know that the Umbrella Man is not Officer Jacob Peterson and they said that the officer had an alibi that checked out for that day and time. We spoke with his supervisor, who was with him. We spoke to his colleagues, who were with him, said Steve Linders, public information officer for the St. Paul Police Department. Police say Peterson is being falsely accused of being the mysterious black-clad, umbrella-carrying man involved in methodically breaking windows at an auto zone during the protests slash riots, so they at least put the riot part in there which have broken out in Minneapolis-St. Paul. 
Skipping ahead a little bit in that article, it says police also wrote on Twitter, rumor control, we are aware of the social media post that erroneously identifies one of our officers as a person caught on video breaking windows in Minneapolis. We've seen it, we've looked into it, and it's false. So we want to be perfectly clear about this. The person in the video is not our officer. Uh, let's see what else we have. Snopes. I don't like using this site because it, to me it seems like a lot of garbage on a lot of things. So take that for what it's worth, and I'm kind of, I have my own skepticism and everything about that, but we're going to look at a few things here. And again, this will be my underlying point, the dangers of trusting what you see on social media. Just, we've got to just chill a little bit, like we've been burned so many times, I think everybody out there knows this by now. Does video show police officers smashing windows during Minnesota protests? It looks like Snopes here has it as an unproven, all right, so here's their definition of unproven. This rating indicates that insufficient evidence exists to establish the given claim as true, but the claim cannot be definitively proved false. So there you go. More information needed. And here's another thing I was talking about with Warren when I was giving him my reply. Social media. Is this ex-Minnesota cop, Derek Chauvin, wearing a Make Whites Great Again hat? Snopes here has it as miscaptioned, whatever that means. Claim, a photograph shows former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin wearing a Make Whites Great Again hat. Miscaptioned, the rating is used with photographs and videos that are real, i.e. not the product partially or wholly of digital manipulation, but are nonetheless misleading because they are accompanied by explanatory material that falsely describes their origin, context, and or meaning. Here's a Twitter clown called Bishop Talbert Swan. Here is Derek Chauvin, the racist cop who kept his knee on blah, blah, blah. We know the rest. Look at this. A sign that this piece of excrement should have been taken off the streets a long time ago. But wait. But the man in the Make Whites Great Again hat above is not Chauvin. This photograph is actually Jonathan Riches, a supporter of U.S. President Donald Trump, who is also a former federal inmate and an online troll who has garnered a reputation for filing lawsuits. Rich has confirmed to us that he's the person in the photograph, but claimed that the Make Whites Great Again hat slogan on his hat was photoshopped. So the question is, for this moron, Bishop Talbert Swan, is that his name? I don't know, it has a blue check mark. That's more than I'll ever get. But when you go ahead and you say something here about this piece of excrement, and you keep going and going and going, you only make yourself look like a bigger piece of excrement because they've already got the guy. <laughs> He's already been fired. At this point, right now when I'm recording this, he just got arrested and charged with the murder. What else is there? Now, I don't know when this idiot here, Swan, posted this, but you just lose all credibility. This guy should never have any credibility again in anybody's eyes. That's why you've got to be careful with the things you say and the things that you look at. Be careful. Just slow down. Why rush? That's what I would say. Why rush? What's the point? This is what it leads to, right? And in the end, this is what happens when we rush. This photo I pulled off the net, it's from May 29th in Minnesota. I don't know the context of it. I'm not going to say that it is something that's in Minneapolis. It's just what I pulled off of the internet that looks like a photo that's supposedly from there. It's a shop. I don't know if this woman's the shop owner. This is what happens when protesting turns into rioting. This is what happens when individuals are out there taking advantage of a situation. They don't have George Floyd's interest at heart. They don't care about George Floyd. They don't care about anything else but the opportunity to take advantage of a situation to steal stuff. Look at this thing. If this was a piece of chicken, it'd be stripped down to the bone, baby. <laughs> My God. Can you imagine if you're the shop owner? What did you ever do to anybody? Yeah, those those protesters, man. Those people out there looking for justice. Those angry people about the police violence and towards minorities. Yeah, they, they really stuck it to the man here, right? Now, hopefully the shop owner has insurance. But what if they don't? You just killed somebody's dream right there. You killed their American dream. You killed their life. You killed their income, their livelihood, everything. Why? What's the point? All you have to do is sit back and wait. The facts generally present themselves in a timely manner. Now, sometimes we don't. We can get into that whole government thing and, you know, all of that other stuff. But 
this is what happens when people live in communities who don't give a shit about their communities and individuals opportunistic come from outside the communities to do damage. This is what happens. Somebody's dream shattered. Believe what you want on this. There's information on both sides where individuals can argue one way or another. People who hate the cops are never going to believe any amount of information that comes out. People that think that the protesters are all animals, there couldn't be anything that you could show them either to prove otherwise. But that's all I got for today. Kind of a, again, kind of a somber thing. George Floyd. Tragedy, right? Um, you don't want to see this come of it because this is all that comes of it. And even with the auto zone. Oh, they're a corporation. We're sticking it to the corporation. Those are jobs that are in your community. How many people do they employ? All these other businesses that are smashed up? How many people did they employ? Hundreds. Small mom and pop businesses. And even if it was a large company, even if it's a Target you smash up, how many people work in Target? That's why I'm saying these individuals that do this shit, they're nothing but losers. People that don't choose to participate in our economy, people that choose not to do what we do, we just go to work. We just do our thing. We'd be good, productive members of society. But unfortunately, there's losers out there that cause this. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.